four years ago, the summer heat boiled over in one Cleveland neighborhood. Hundreds of people were arrested. There were nearly 250 cases of arson amid four days of deadly riots. It was during this week, all those years ago, that it happened in Cleveland's Huff neighborhood along East 79th and Huff. News Channel 5's Leon Bibb takes a look back to see what we've learned from those events of 1966. A troubling time in Cleveland. As had many other U.S. cities, Cleveland erupted in riot. In crosshairs of racial discrimination and distress, some Clevelanders rioted. Mid-July 1966, the Cleveland East Side neighborhood of Huff was in flames. Many white-owned businesses were burned by black rioters. The governor sent in the National Guard. I think it's like being at war. You know, you suddenly feel like uh, the two factions that are going against each other and somebody is going to get killed. Cleveland Call and Post newspaper editor Connie Harper was a reporter in 66 when the Huff riots saw four killed, hundreds of fires set, hundreds of people arrested. It was 44 years ago today. Where? Where's King? Where is that? 7815. You were just there before? All right. And it has to be fighting when you have the National Guard. That, that's war. There used to be a bar right here at East 79th Street in Huff. A small emotional confrontation is what set off the Huff riots right here. But underneath that small emotional spark were years of frustration, deplorable living conditions, racial discrimination. What started here small eventually included much of Huff in riot. But out of the riots 44 years ago grew a new Huff. The riot marked a Cleveland turning point, politically and otherwise. As someone said following the riots, Huff has nowhere to go but up. Leon Bibb, News Channel 5.